You can't do... No, that can't actually be them. All right, hey guys, Drift Grid Lever today with, and we're back with Mob Psycho episode eight. So yeah, just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who subscribed after the last episode, as uh, I didn't expect to get so many views and comments on it. I enjoyed reading every one of your comments, and I'm glad there weren't near anyone who cried to made me feel a lot better, because I weren't sure when I watched it, I was like, oh, is there anyone who teared up with that? And I watched quite a few other reactions afterwards of people tearing up, and I was like, oh, everyone was so cute. Um, it was a great moment last episode. Overall, probably my favorite episode. One of my favorite episodes of the season, to be fair, because even though I like Dura, the me, the me episodes in Dura, if you haven't watched that, but that was a great episode, that two-parter. But because it's sort of built up over like the first season and then into the second season, it just really paid off because we've had this great problem with Reagan and Mob as the, one of the pins in the relationship, whereas like this season we're really unraveling like the character flaws and character development for him. So like the fact that like, Reagan got used to having Mob around and then Mob now finally getting his own opinion, not following everything his master says. It led to this point dead nicely into the show, and it all paid off in that one episode, which got me a bit teary eyed. And it was uh, overall a really, really good episode. I enjoyed it a lot. And the music, uh, the amount of times I've listened to that end song, um, the end, as the end song came on um, during that scene, and I've watched that scene about two more times since because it's just like such a good scene. It was such a good scene. I'm curious where Mob Psycho is going to go from there on now, and it's going to hopefully see how the relationship's changed a bit. But I'm really glad they went down that path with the Reagan's character. And it paid off and it was just so relatable right like, we all go through like he picked himself up after losing like the argument with mob made himself like did really well for himself and then he was brought back down by people and then mob was there to bring him back up again so it was like a nice thing where really. like we all get sick of what we're doing we all get used to being a repetitive thing that's why i liked it when he saw mob again for the first time when mob first met him He's just like basically done with his job. He's basically just giving on, moving out, moving on from it. And then he met Mob, and then that changed where his direction of his life was going. But yeah, no, overall solid episode, and I can't wait to get into the next one. So anyway, and so let's just get into it. I was just thinking as the intro is playing, they you gotta appreciate how much effort Bones puts into this. Like I've read a few comments about how like One Punch Man's got a few production issues at the moment. It's just like you got Bones just slaying it with this anime. Hopefully, one Punch Man gets the same sort of love. Religion, yes, meme religion. I love how this shows it in the meme culture. I wanted to bring back the girl from episode one. I'm interested to see more of her, but I know they won't. We need to know more about the girl with fancies. She has got powers. We need to know more. So many questions. So many side characters I want to see. So little amount of episodes. I think this is twelve episodes. Wish it was 25. That boy mob. I love how he's focusing on his goal to be more physical. That was nice for him to have a little goal. It's a good goal to be fair. I like mobs like, de like fucking dedication for self improvement. Yes. Another goal on top of it. Oh, yeah, the student council person. That was a funny episode. He's so different. I love it. I love Mob so much. He's such a good character. Oh, I want him to get in top 10. Why have I got so much hope? And I know it's not going to happen. Oh, Reagan being the boy. Oh, you know when he says he didn't have many customers? Let's just go back to that calendar. I'm probably not getting it. He's literally got a name on every day. Our boy Reagan coming through from Rob. I love that. I'm assuming that every one of those are names for customers and they say he's got no customers for a while. It's that Ra our boy Reagan is a lad. I love these two so much. I can't just let him leave a hint like that. I'm assuming that's what it is. Mate. It's Reagan's worse than Mob. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hey, if, even if she said no, the fact that if he goes through with it would be amazing. I love how everyone's just helping him out so he can get his goal. Mob's got some good friends. 
<laughs> Did it work for him for a bit? What guy? He's... Look, she's not interested in mob. Yes. I was going to say, I was going to stop for Mob. Yes, Mob's still got a chance. But now they're going to be like, oh, panicky for poor Mob. But, mate, if Mob can. Even if she didn't like it, like someone else, it'd be good for Mob. Oh, the faking illness, aren't they? <laughs> so they didn't have to do it, these guys. I believe in you. <laughs> I love the art style in this. Still images shot when they run. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yes, it did do it as well. Still images running. There we go, there we go. They always do it. Like, whenever they start a race, do like two still images. Mate, why do these guys want to fight? Mm. Yes. Oh, he's bleeding. Why did they knock him over? What pricks? The gang. I love the willpower. This, I love episodes like this. I love that it's turned into like a slice of life. And I love it for that. I think I did enjoy the show if there weren't any powers in it, to be fair. Is that sad? Just powers make it cool. Yes, mob overtaking. Right, I'm voting here. Can we have a mob spin off series where it's a slice of life romance? So, am I the only one? No. <laughs> yes, Reagan! <laughs> I love how Reagan's come to help his boy out. <laughs> That's a face of weird power. I would just get what. I found the animated this. So well done this episode. Did he pass out? Aww. He aww. I wanted to make it all the way. Oh yeah, the weird kid. Bringing all the plot points now. Why do we have to lose the slice of life stuff? Oh, it's going to end there, isn't it? What's he going to do? I watched the first season a long time ago. I'm trying to think. The mob's not just going to get dark on me now, are we? We're the dead. You just burn their house. Why the fuck do you do that? Did it? What? The family weren't in there, surely. There's no way you burnt the family alive in there. I just want to know if they're in there, like. I've, I'm sh it's just because the way he said it is like shame your family's still in there and if, I think he just captured him and burnt the house down is anyone else stressing like me right now I don't think I could take it I don't think I could take it if Mob's family was dead right so they've been taken okay that means it can be saved No. What? You can't do... No, that can't actually be them. The show didn't just go that dark, did it? Did 
Did the show just actually go that dark? What? What the fuck? Did they actually just kill off the family? I've just got it. I just somebody's got it in my mind that there's fake bodies. I can't. I don't think they actually seriously went through with killing this family. Why does this show just keep getting better? Like, this show just went from like a happy slice of life from like probably one of my favorite episodes of Happiness to like just like dark as shit in like the same episode. How does a show pull that? Like, it's one of those I'm like not sure if they're actually dead, but they did show just burning bodies. They did just legit just kill his family off like that. That's. I've got a feeling they haven't just because it's anime. Not just because it's anime, just because I'm not normally when anime does this, it's normally like there's a there's a he's to piss him off like yeah he's just took him off put like but if that is legit his family that's fucking dark. Fuck, I didn't think Mob would go there. Let's just go on to the assumption they are actually dead. If they are, that is fucking brutal. And did we just get this all this development for Mob and they just fucking like throw that spanner into the works. That's fucking on point for me. That's really good storytelling if they've just done that. Like they've just gone through like great character development, just did a great episode where it was him making goals, moving moving forward and stuff, being happy to then just killing his family. If legit killed his family, that's fucking insane. But why? Uh, it's just, uh, I hope you guys can understand why I, just, I don't know if you guys are like, you just got in the back of my mind still alive I've not read the manga so I don't know um, but I'm just in the back of my mind still alive and it's just there for the, like, to trigger mob but if they actually did kill him off that's fucked up and even if they didn't that's just fucked up thinking your family's just been burnt alive I thought he was going around the, just when they went around the house slowly I thought there was no dead bodies there so I thought it was fine and he opens that last fucking door that is a hype ending like, I fucking just want next week's episode now the fuck man I just didn't expect that I don't thought, I thought, I thought Mob, how can you have such a good episode after the last episode? That was fucking, such a good way to end an episode, like, that's, that is, ah, maybe, I'm not being too much emotional about it, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if they actually are dead, I just feel like if they are, if they are, that's fucking sad, like, just with that, which has happened to Mob as well, because I love Mob as well, he's such a good character, you just want to, like, protect the guy, um, yeah, hopefully, he ends up all right with his mob, but I like how this is just kickstarted. This is just put us straight into an arc. What's really like they just had a really sick two parter, and now they've put us straight into an arc where it's like we're gonna get that sick action and stuff now. And the way he just did that transition to it is so good. And like just to give us that peaceful, nice episode and then just transitioned into this at the end. But that's how that's how you pace an episode. And the planning of this area is that that is really, really good. I'm definitely looking forward to more what they're gonna do with this, and I'm curious where it's gonna go. Mate, another top, top episode. That, yeah, Mob on a fucking roll. Like, this went from like probably my fourth favourite of the season to like second easily. Like I actually would say like if it keeps this pace up for the next couple of episodes, this is going to be my favourite show of the season. Like, problem, like compared to like Dora slowing down a bit, Rise of the Shield slowing down a bit, like pacing, and um, the Roman Love is War is still really good, but this is just like the others have been like this where they started off really strong, like where they started off really strong flatlined a bit whereas mob psycho is just like just keeps getting better and if they carry on if they carry if it gets even better next episode like i'm in for a treat with this series and that it's going to be an unexpected surprise for me like i knew it was going to be good but the fact last episode was amazing with great character and they've just done this episode and what they've just done at the end was really well i'm just looking forward to where the show's going to take me but anyway thanks for watching hopefully you will join me next week and please like and subscribe peace